welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is Addison. In today's video, we will discuss where to start when building your events website on WordPress. Event planners are a diverse group, but whether you're organizing yoga retreats or corporate conferences, there's one thing every event planner needs, a solid events website. Here are some common event goals that may resonate with you. Increase brand awareness and recognition, increase event registration numbers, sell tickets, crowdsource events from your community, and build a community. The first thing you'll want to do is pick your event tools. With a strong understanding of the event's website goals, now comes the fun part, choosing the tools and features to power your event website. Here are some of the plugins you may want to consider adding to your event website. Bonus, some of these are totally free. First, we have calendar tools. Add a calendar to your WordPress site so attendees can easily find event details. The event calendar is the number one calendar plugin for WordPress, and it's free. It comes with multiple calendar views, including month view and list view. The event calendar's simple, elegant design is ready to use out of the box, or you can customize with your website's colors and logos. A responsive design means the calendar will load perfectly on any device. Next, we have ticketing and registration tools. If selling tickets and or collecting RSVPs is a critical need for your event's website, check out the Event Tickets plugin. This free software enables you to quickly start selling tickets or collecting registrations for events. If you need advanced e-commerce options, upgrade to Event Tickets Plus for extras like Apple Pay support. Next on the list is crowdsourcing tools. For some event planners, an events website is a hub for user-submitted events. If that's you, power up your WordPress site with community events. This premium plugin lets you add a submission form to your website where users can submit events. You set the publication controls and decide how much moderation, if any, is required before user-submitted events are published. Next, we have advanced monetization tools. If you've already using community events to crowdsource a community calendar, you can grow your own revenue by allowing users to sell tickets to their events on your site and collecting an admin fee. With the Community Tickets plugin alongside Community Events and the Events Tickets Plus, you can create a powerful event marketplace on your event site. Next, we have Event Marketing Tools. A premium plugin like Promoter can help integrate your event website with your marketing efforts. Send customizable, automated emails to your event attendees. Remind guests about upcoming events, increase your ticket sales, and keep your community engaged. Next, we have virtual event tools. If you host virtual or hybrid events, a premium plugin like virtual events is a must-have. Embed live streams on your events page and integrate with virtual meetings tools like Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and more. And lastly, we have the event importer tools. If you're building a new events website and want to import all of your events from an existing Google Calendar, Meetup page, or Eventbrite, check out Event Aggregator. This paid plugin can save you hours of work by automatically importing events to your WordPress site in seconds. Now that you have a better understanding of the different event tools you can utilize, the next step is creating your events calendar. The best way to add a calendar to your site is with a plugin like the events calendar. I would suggest checking out our posts on how to add a calendar to a WordPress site to learn more. You can find the link below this video. And once you have your calendar, don't forget to read our post on the seven essentials to include on your events site. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.